covered, we covered a lot tonight. We covered uh, Ukraine, we covered politics, we covered spirituality and ways to heaven. And now I want to ask you a personal question. As a man being married with two beautiful children, do you believe the saying, happy wife, happy life? Or do you believe that's a myth? It's the truth and it's a myth okay. at the same time. A wife is meant to bring out the good. A wife is supposed to complete you, right? The stuff that, and I don't mean complete in every way, like, oh my God, I was broken and now, oh, holy shit, look, I'm, to, I'm together, right? Which, which in a way is exactly true because the things that you fall short in, they'll be great at. Right? A good wife. Or one that's for you. So, if you want to keep somebody that adds to your life, brings value to your life, if you want to go above and beyond to ensure that they are happy, sure, within reason. Right? A man still needs to be a man. A, a real woman still needs to know that she has a man, right? Not a little boy, not a little kid. She has a man, right? Yeah, I get my way and yeah, I can get this and yeah, I can get that. But when my man says no, he means no, right? So you always have to show that. So a lot of people get it misconstrued it that when a man and although it happens but when a man is sometimes what it looks like being submissive to his wife is because he knows he doesn't need to be dominant in in at that moment okay right so he says even compromise it's an even compromise okay it's an even compromise because if you're making your wife happy, she's trying to make you happy as well, okay. right? So sometimes even people will see certain decisions being made and it looks like she's making the, the decision, right? But she's making this, the decision because long time before you decided she should make that decision, right? She's smarter, she knows more, she knows whatever. She's more into this. She should make that decision because I'm too. I, I I could make a good decision, or maybe I'll make the wrong decision. Maybe it's more complex than that's what she's good at. Okay. Let her make that decision. So having a happy wife doesn't always mean a man giving up his rights. Okay. Right. Especially to be a man. Well, some men right? do that. Some men do that. A, well, a and, lot of men do that. A, a lot of men do that. And mostly they end up doing that to toxic women. Mm. Right? Because again, a real woman would know that she's your strength in this. But you're also her strength in that. So she would also give you a real woman. A good woman. Right? Not a real woman. I don't know what a real woman is. But a good woman will know that and will be smart enough to say, listen, like my wife with cars personally, right? It's a That's a huge money decision. But that would be my decision. That's a huge decision, right? So she's not in charge of my life, right? But we do it together. It's something like a car something like a house you know we put our heads together and figure out what to do but like with a car whatever i say it would go and but it wouldn't be I, it wouldn't be me going home yo we're gonna get a, a mother effing whatever car right because i said so right so we need to get a car right i was looking at this car i like this car because of this and that and that and that what do you think right She's not going to have anything to think. Because what 
unless it's too small and we can't bring groceries home or something like that. Not that you know she's she's just destined to cook, but furniture, anything, right? Unless she has a valid reason why we shouldn't get that car, we're gonna get that car because I said I like it and this and that and okay, right? That that's where it is. But at the same token, a lot of the decisions she'll make, right? Because she'll know. But it takes as it, it as much as it takes a good man, it takes a good woman to realize that as well. Absolutely. I agree, okay. I agree with that. So if any of those things are off, or if both of those things are off, <laughs> it could be a disaster. Toxic woman, toxic relationship. So you have to be careful with who you go with. And not only that, always have an open mind as to, is this person toxic? Right? Because some some people have toxic in them, but they're not a general altogether toxic person. Okay. They might have reactions to certain things. That doesn't necessarily make them toxic, right? But is this person just sucking all of your energy, all of your everything out of you? It's not why would you give them more power over you? Mm-hmm. Preach it, brother. Preach it. So that's how I feel about happy life, happy wife, happy life. If you have a good wife, and if you're a good husband, you'll have more or less a happy life. All right. It won't be perfect. You always argue because in a in a marriage, dude, there's two totally different people that are now living together. So and I, raising a family and raising a family together. Wow. So. The way I raise kids is way different to the way Cindy raised kids. And we clash... No names. I'll cut that over. Yeah. So so we clash almost every day on stuff pertaining to them. Right? So it's never going to be happy wife, happy life. You're always going to clash. Right? But in the end of the day, you realize it's not much that's worth it to... To, to destroy everything that you've built together because it's small little things and even if you argue about it or even if you talk about it you, at the end of the day you get over it and you reach a solution and you move on 